There might be three faces of Matt Cardona, but I'm surprised any of them can keep a straight face after the bullshit lies. He was tweeting on X saying that three faces of Cardona is greater than three faces of Foley. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And Mark Cardona is at it again. He is bashing Mick Foley. And he has been for a while now. He's been taking digs at Mick Foley, basically saying that Foley's not the greatest greatest hardcore wrestler of all time and we know Foley said he wants to have a match when he's 60 he wants to have one more death match I think Mark Cardona is trying to get under Foley's skin I think Matt Cardona is trying to get Foley to select him because he knows that would be the most relevant he has ever been since being employed by the WWE but Matt Cardona took to his Twitter account and basically he's ripped off Foley so a lot of the new guys in wrestling you look at it, they've got nothing new, they're not creative, they just basically steal everything from the past and that's what he's done, he's he's, took a, he's replicated the three faces of Foley and he's got his own shirt and he's labelled it the three faces of Cardona and those three faces are Sack Ryder Deathmatch King and Indie God. And for me, the guy automatically loses. He's trying to claim that he is great and one of his faces is the Indie God. If you have to reference yourself or refer to yourself as anything Indie, then you automatically fucking lose. Mick Foley um, was Mankind, Cactus Jack, Dude Love, and they were all in massive re wrestling television companies. You know, he, he did it in WCW, uh, WWE, ECW, the guy was worldwide. Mark Cardona is, like you said, he is indie, he is jobber, he is bingo hall bullshit. And I know ECW was in the bingo hall, but fuck it. ECW in the 90s was relevant. Mark Cardona, Sack Rider, this guy's not been relevant in 10 years. Indie God is dead, uh, it's not a good name, none of the other two are. But you know what, I'll actually stick up for Sack Rider as one, one of the three faces. I like this work. I like I like this theme song. I like this work with Cena and Kane in the early 2010s. But let's be real. Since then, he's been shit. Not paying attention to one match he's had in the Indies. Hold on, you like that shit when C Cena stole Eve and he was sitting there in the, the wheelchair and Kane was pushing him off stages? It's not that I like that. I, I think his theme song was pretty good. <laughs> his theme song was pretty good. I, I, just, I think playing SmackDown vs. Raw like 2011 and his theme come on, it was a good time. Ah, good but he, but he, he basically doesn't want to acknowledge Zack Ryder existed. He's trying to... He's trying to like erase that part of his career. He so he wants to erase it that much, he's put it on a t-shirt. I know, but that's the only face that he's got that's ever relevant, so he kind of has to stick it yeah. in there. Very true, but he, he, he's nowhere near Foley. He knows it, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He knows it. He, he knows it, right? It, it's a fucking troll. Like, it's nothing more. I'm sorry. Do you I'm think Mick, Who do you think Mick Foley will select for his 60th uh, death? I, I mean, I, I don't well, want to see it. Maybe it could be him. Maybe this is like the, the seeds being planted for a wee feud. Where do they have it? I, don't, I just don't think Foley should come back at 60. And have a death match in a company that's not relevant. I mean, I think Foley should be getting paid a lot of money if he comes back and wrestles. I think there needs to be like insurance in play. I, I don't think he should have a match without that. I think there's only two places Foley should do it, and one place definitely won't allow him. WWE. So, so I think the only other place is AEW. They do it, yeah, and they don't really have insurance. Well, they just get buckets of cash, and that's technically insurance. I think AEW would facilitate that. Of course they would, and they're, they're, they're more likely to do the hardcore, hardcore style, so. Look, Matt Cardona, the guy's not Mick Foley, he never was Mick Foley. I, I genuinely think that the three faces of Foley thing was legendary. He was also taking a dig at Foley entering the Rumble three times. That is, for me, that's one of the most iconic Rumble moments ever. Yeah, what's wrong with that? The fact that Foley entered the Rumble is free. And I've heard a lot of people complain, like, ah, he took two spots off other people. Fuck that bullshit. If, like, uh, see, if there was two people that were more over than the three faces of Foley, then he wouldn't have took their spots. Yeah, I mean, that was the 98 Rumble. And I praise the Attitude Era, but I'm not going to lie and say at the start of 98, the roster was stacked. Yeah, you look at the 97 Rumble, 98 Rumble, like, and there's, there was a lot of people that come out in that Rumble and you're thinking, how have you got a job here? Yeah, I mean, the final three was like Austin, Rock and D'Lo Brown in 98. I think the I think the fine I think the other guy was Big Boss Man. So I mean, anyway, I'm giving Mark Cardona a brown down. 
But it's like, you remember those four? I'm giving them a brown down, but like, see, obviously this year's Rumble's recent, like a month ago. But see, tw 2023, who was the last four? The men's Royal Rumble? Aye. From, from last year, not this year. Uh, Cody and Gunfire. I just know it was those two. Aye, who's the other two? Oh, fuck so you don't know, me. but how can I name a Rumble for 26 fucking years ago? Whereas, probably, all, like, the majority of the Rumbles, I'd say, from the Attitude Era and Ruthless Aggression Era, you, you could probably name the last four guys. Fucking name the, the one to 40, you know? <laughs> Every single one. Anyway, Mark Cardona, Mick Foley, will we see it? I don't know. Do I want to see it? Probably not. I just don't want to see Mick Foley get hurt, but, yeah, Mark Cardona, liar. Definitely not better than the three faces Foley's of Foley. Foley's not been able to walk right. Since the late 90s. It's 2024, so unpack it in. No, I might actually put a poll up. What was your favourite face of Mick Foley? I'd be interested to see what people's favourite was. Mate, I think Mike... got four, though, with Mick. Yeah, himself, true. So. I think Mike... I like Cactus Jack. But, I mean, I like... I was never really big on Mankind. I was never really big on Dude Love, either. The Dude's Dirt. Nah, I thought Dude Love was... I mean, Dude Love had a title feud with fucking Austin. I mean, that's better than anything Zack Ryder ever done. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.